the stimulus prompt in Canvas Quizzes Next is great for not just including text, so a passage from a book or an article, it's also really good for embedding any kind of image or video that you want students to refer back to while answering questions off to the side. So we're going to start with a picture, and you'll notice in this rich text editor it has a spot to upload media. So I'm just going to click on there. I can browse or I can drag and drop because I just downloaded this picture. I've got it right in the corner of my screen. I'm just going to drag and drop it. I'm going to add alt text. This is an accessibility feature. So if there is someone using a screen reader, they will know what the image is. So I'm going to put the name of what that image is showing. And now I've got that here. Now it's showing up really small, so I can make this larger just by clicking on the image and then adjusting with the little white squares in the corner. I'm going to put my source. This way I know where I got this image later on. Kids won't see this, but it's helpful for me as the teacher to be able to go back to that later on. So I can click Add the Stimulus, and now I have this picture here and I can attach any questions that I want to go with this picture. Down here I'm going to click another stimulus and I'm going to show you how you can add a video. So there's two ways that you might add a video. For YouTube it's pretty easy. You can click on the URL up at the top of the screen or if you click share you can then click on this link here which you'll notice has the same information but is a bit shorter than the URL up at the top. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to click right next to that upload media we use for the picture. I'm going to click insert edit media. So I'm going to click, I used control V to paste that. And I'm going to copy that. So now I have this video here for kids to watch and then they could answer any questions they needed to. So this is really great if you have a YouTube video, but not all of your videos will necessarily be from YouTube. So how do you get it when it's a website like TED and you don't want to embed this entire website, you just want the video. If you click over here, most things that you can embed within a website are going to have some sort of share button. If it's any of this interactive um, tools or any videos, they'll have a share button. You're going to look for that. And then I'm looking for this embed code. It's almost always going to be signified by these, um, by these symbols right here. So even if it doesn't say embed underneath it or beside it, if you see this symbol, you'll be able to embed. And then you're just going to copy this code. So I've got it copied. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click Insert Media just like before, but I'm going to come over here to Embed. I paste with Control V. I click Copy. And it had a bunch of code. You don't have to know what any of that means. It's going to do all of that work for you. I click here to add stimulus. Oh, I need to add a title. And now I've got my other video. So it's pretty easy for you to insert images or insert videos. You can also have these in with text. So you could have an article, a video, and a picture all within one stimulus if you wanted to.